It's very important for us during this time. In a few minutes, I'm going to share with you what's going on over the next couple of years. But it's important to know that we have the ability to align ourselves with and to participate in what God is doing. We participate with an open ear, hearing what the Spirit is saying to the church. We participate by the Word of God uh, and understanding what it is that He is telling us while the Spirit is speaking to our heart. We participate in prayer. You know, God wants revival. Ultimately, that's the end of all things. Whatever it is that He does on planet Earth is to bring about the saving of souls, a harvest of human lives of people, bringing them into the kingdom of God to save them from death, hell, and destruction, spiritual death. So revival, spiritual awakening is the ultimate. It's like Jesus. He told his disciples, look, in other words, pay attention to. The field is white unto harvest. It's white unto harvest. It's ready for the plucking of the grain. Revival is there. I've seen it in the spirit. The angel of God, Michael, took me up into the heavens over the earth, the spiritual atmosphere and a vision, and he showed me the revival. Swirling mass of rainbow colors, it's here. We participate in that revival. We participate with heaven by believing that. By heeding, go into all the world and preach the gospel. That's the primary call on our lives. Oh, we have others. There are great anointings, a multitude of promises that come for us. But lest we forget, we must focus on saving souls and taking them. We're all going to go to heaven, those of us that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But we want to take as many people with us as possible. That's why I'm not in a big hurry to go right now, because I want more. My heart's prayer. Oh, man, and I just hear CK, as she cries out in her prayers also. Sometimes we talk about it. More souls, Lord. More people for the kingdom. That's what makes it all worthwhile down here. We care about our own lives and, and what it is that you're doing to bless us, Lord. But we must have revival, spiritual awakening. We participate with heaven by doing that. We participate with heaven by pulling down strongholds in spiritual warfare and going out and just confronting the enemy in people's lives and bringing Jesus. When you get a soul saved, when you lead somebody to the Lord, when you lay hands on them and get them healed, when you minister to their relationships, marry, maybe the healing of a marriage, all of those things, as God uses you, you're participating with heaven right here on earth. When you realize the activity of angels and how they're working in your behalf, and those angels are setting up divine encounters for you, to minister and to share Jesus with other people, to pray for them, divine prophetic encounters, power encounters, healing encounters, angelic encounters. You're participating with heaven. I remember CK even had, I think it was a dream, but the Lord spoke to her one day and said, when you pray in tongues, you're participating with heaven. Wow, how powerful that is. When your prayers are led by the Spirit of God and it's the mysteries of the kingdom that's being released through you, you're participating with heaven. We're entering into, in fact, I, let me change the wording on that. We are already in a phase that started late last fall, about October and November, the Lord spoke to me. I gave a prophecy concerning what's happening over the next two years. Well, we're into that already. But over the next couple of years, we are experiencing a great time of victory on one hand and harvest on the other. Spiritual warfare, victory, 
victory over what the enemy has set up, the enemy is doing. I've said to you that it's the time of the lion's army, the lion's roar. It's a time of angelic movement, talking about in spiritual warfare, and great victory that is coming, that is working through the body of Christ because of your faith, your obedience, your authority. On the other leg, it's a time of harvest. Harvest in the spiritual realm with the Spirit of God bringing the fruit of the Spirit. Power, working of miracles, gifts of healings, evangelism, all that the Spirit does, it's working. So victory and harvest, victory and harvest. Well, in line with that, the next two years, the Lord has been sharing with me for the last six months to tell the people to make all they can, save all they can, and give all they can. In other words, we are in a time of prosperity. It's a season of prosperity. Reap of it. Be wise. Utilize it. And it's also a time of creativity. Seize the creative opportunities that come your way. Opportunities for uh, ministry, opportunities for business, opportunities for relationship, creative opportunities. Not just good opportunities, but God opportunities that are there. Recognize, seize them. And this two years is to set us up for the following three. This two years, I'm saying it again, is to set all of us up for the following three. Make wise decisions, and particularly discerning of spirits. There's been a warning that the Lord gave to me this week, and I'm just sharing with you that in this season, be aware of demonic strategies that attempt to sneak into your life to rob you physically, mentally, uh, spiritually, financially, ministry-wise. Discerning of spirits is important. Just because things are going good and because you have authority and victory doesn't mean that the enemy doesn't have strategies, trickery, witchcraft, dece deceptions. And so you got to be wise. Don't allow him to rob you, pilfer, steal from you. Keep the creativity, keep the prosperity going. And all of those things also apply to our nation. I really believe that President Trump at this point, and yes, we continue to pray for him. He has the hand of the Lord on him. Also, I got to emphasize again, the Lord has really been dealing with me about praying for uh, Israel and Prime Minister Netanyahu. We really need to uphold that man. And don't forget to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. But Netanyahu and Trump, they have the hand of the Lord on them for this season to accomplish great things. America is in a time and a season of prosperity and advancement. It doesn't matter what the enemy does to try to hold that up. I realize there's speed bumps, there are attacks, things coming from different sides, particularly the leftist agenda. Uh, again, Jezebel on the left, Pharisee on the right. There's the beast system, the spirit of Antichrist, Leviathan, so many different things. But we have the victory. Jesus said that they're subject to us. That's the area of victory and harvest, victory and harvest. But it's won by effort. It's won by faith, by authority. We war from authority, not to try to, and, and we war from victory, not to try to gain victory. So it's important for us. No fear and no strife. No fear. Fear will try to paralyze you and stop you. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Don't be afraid of what the enemy is doing. He's not going to stop it. 
in your life personally or in our nation. No strife. Stay out of strife. You got to walk in love. You got to walk in faith. You got to walk in authority. Remember, I'm going to say it again. This next two years, be wise. Make all you can, save all you can, give all you can. Honor the Lord with your finances and all the blessings that he's given to you. Because he brought an anointing up on America during this season for prosperity. We thank God for it. And I hope that you have been receiving a lot of blessings uh, financially in your life, new job. If not, then I pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person out there right now that's watching this video. I pray for their finances. I pray, Lord God, that you would bless them and you would increase them financially. New jobs, raises on the current job that they have. Some of them new businesses. All the creative opportunities that come their way, let them seize them and take advantage of the blessing that you've brought upon our nation. This is a time of rejoicing and prosperity by the hand of the Lord. Not just Donald Trump's doing. The hand of the Lord. And I pray that you, he gives you the wisdom to know how to operate in the economy of heaven. Do not forget the Lord in your tithes and your offerings. Do not forgive in your seed planting, your harvesting and giving into the revival of souls and ministries that will steward those things well because of the leadership of the Holy Spirit that is in them. Praise God. It's important to walk in love. There has been that strife. No strife, no strife, no strife. I have seen it. I have seen an intensifying of the opportunity for strife coming into Christians' lives just recently. It's like there's been an upswing. I've seen it manifested in different people here just over the last 30 days. But I've also felt it in the spirit, that heaviness, that strife, that working against people. And so I pray in the name of Jesus against fear, the temptation for you to fear, the temptation for you to get into strife. In the name of Jesus, I just pray for discerning of spirits and wisdom to come to you and that the Holy Spirit will keep you steadfast, you'll stay in the word, you'll stay in faith, you'll stay in love. Love is what stifles, cancels, paralyzes all of the work of the enemy. But it's got to also be by faith and authority. So I encourage you and I bless you. One last thing that I want to do is just pray a release. During these 40 days of prayer and fasting we've been involved in, and that's from March 6th through April 14th. Still time for you to get involved in it with us. If you're not already, I want to thank all of you prayer warriors that are participating with it. It's a voluntary thing, and the fasting is a voluntary fast in the way that you fast partial fast, etc. Go to our website if you want to download some tools. I'll give that to you in a minute. But it's very important um, to understand that during this season, the Lord also says part of the victory in the harvest is from Job twenty-two twenty-eight: 28. Decree a thing and it will be established for you. It's important to decree, to speak it out of your mouth. Take the promises of God in his holy word. The promises and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit as he speaks to you. The things that rise up when you think in your prayer life and you're praying for yourself. You're praying for your family, your next door neighbors. You're praying for our nation. You're praying for our president and for others in, in government. That as those things come, to take, put them into words and they become faith-filled from our heart, and we decree, we speak them out of our mouths, and we decree a thing, and it shall be established. I decree that President Trump 
will fulfill all that the hand of the Lord has been upon him for. Hallelujah. I decree that revival is in America and millions of souls are coming into the kingdom. I decree that you, that I, my family, walk in the anointing for supernatural youth and divine health and that no plague or sickness shall come nigh this dwelling. I decree that we walk in the prosperity of God and that all of the money that God has placed in this earth to serve, the money to serve his children will come to them and not be hoarded up by the devil's children, hoarded up by wicked spirits. No. Money transfer come to the wealthy. Come to the righteous. Make the righteous wealthy so that it can be used to propagate the kingdom of God. I decree that Jesus is Lord of the United States of America. I decree that the body of Christ is rising up in power, authority, and victory, and is winning the lost, and will overcome all of the work of the enemy against our nation. You notice that I began slowing down a few minutes ago, and the anointing that started coming on me? I want to release that anointing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the release of the anointing for victory and harvest. The anointing for walking in love and faith and authority. The anointing for healing. The anointing for prosperity. The anointing for the glory of God during this time, to come upon your people. In the name of Jesus, release unto them now. Release unto them now. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. I encourage you. I bless you. CK and I love you. Like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Read the description below. Go to our website, wordoflifeworldoutreach.org. And on the home page, you can download some PDFs of uh, prayers and uh, agendas in prayer time and other things that are there to help you during this 40 days of prayer and fasting, including the Bible assignment and the readings that are there. God bless you. And while you're there, consider sowing and giving through our secure donation page. The profits reward coming back to you. God bless you.